Hi, Tom Walls, Carbide Processors. Been kind of a hectic week. Part of the problem is that we're having trouble getting tungsten carbide in, just physically get it in. There is one company that does surface treatment. There were two, one went out of business, but one company that does surface treatment of tungsten carbide. They seem to be very badly backed up and they may be having quality control problems. That's no fun. I just hate selling stuff that doesn't work. But anyway, we've I have done a lot of research on this, and I've just put it all up in a blog post for anyone who wants to to use it. I've got a couple of processes that really do work. Um, I've licensed them a couple of times. I was going to use them here. Uh, you can see a picture of the line I bought in the blog post. We're in the city of Tacoma and they just do not want plating. Zero discharge. I've got a zero discharge plating line. Um, evaporation to get rid of the wastewater from the rinsing processes. Had it tested. Had the government come out and test. No problems. They still don't want it and I just don't want to fight that fight. But if anyone wants to set up or treat tungsten carbide, I would be more than happy to help you because I would really like to see good tungsten carbide come directly to me from the manufacturing plant without a delay of a week or weeks or months in the middle and I would really like to have a process run that was a hundred percent repeatable that was robust so that's it it's Friday I'm tired uh, Renee wants to teach me how to do something new on the website, which is always taxing. But anyway, uh, I'm going to have a good weekend. Hope you do too. Bye.